Let's talk about the Twin Flame journey through the tarot cards. This is something that I love doing for myself because it shows me where I'm at in the journey. Uh, and so hopefully you'll get something out of this. Just take what resonates and leave the rest, please. So I just pulled a few cards and I, actually I didn't even pull them. I let uh, the divine shuffle them and um, jump. they jump out of me. So I take the ones that jump out when I read t tarot for Twin Flames. And what this is what's great about tarot and um, using a pendulum and different ways that you can connect to the divine is that you can get clear messages. Uh, you can cut out the ego, right? So I got these three all came out together, which is perfect. So you've got the queen of wands, the emperor, and the eight of wands. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's exactly what the twin flame connection is like. You've got all this energy moving between a masculine and a feminine. So we've got the divine feminine and divine masculine um, and all this energy in between. So this is a great way to show me the energy for August 2021 for divine feminine, divine masculine and the twin flame journey. It's pretty amazing when you look at it this way, right? So it's not until uh, the divine feminine and it, you know, we use that interchangeably um, everyone has feminine and masculine traits and you're going to swap between them in your life. Sometimes you need to get work done and be active and control your life and have a plan and that's the masculine within you. But sometimes you need to be the feminine and you need to receive accolades and sometimes you need to step up and uh, be the, d the divine feminine, be the person you can be. Show your true self and let people clap, <laughs> you know? So this is the way I look at the divine feminine and masculine and we have it in with all of us. And balancing the two within you is what the key and that's what brings in the momentum, that's what brings in the change. If you've struggled with your career, if you struggle with relationships, everything, you try all these different things and finally you're gonna hit the bullseye. So, you know, a lot of people read this card as an incoming message, but I look at it as momentum and finally figuring out that thing, that one thing. So this to me, when these three flew out together, it shows me that the collective that I'm reading for and the people who find this video are balanced already between their divine feminine and the masculine within, and they are harnessing the quantum field and bringing in momentum because they're finally finding that spark. They're finally finding the one thing that's gonna work and hit the bullseye with their life. So that can be relationship, that could be jobs, it can be all kinds of things. But that's a great start to this. So I love those and I wanted to leave those out to read those. And then I asked the cards and my guides to show me the Twin Flame journey itself for everyone uh, and what that looks like. And then these are the cards that flew out. We have the Ace of Swords in the center, Four of Cups in the past, and the Lovers in the future. And if that doesn't say Twin Flame journey, I don't know what does. <laughs> You've got the Four of Cups, which is being divinely guided. And also the traditional version of the Four of Cups in Tarot is more about not noticing that you, you drank these three cups but not noticing the divine handing you a fourth one so you're not uh, grateful. So, and you're not feeling guided and, uh, and you're just sort of wah, wah, wah. So this, but this particular vision of this tarot, um, these are the Gregory Scott tarot cards which I really love. This one is great because he's being divinely guided and there's all this magic pulling him up. So you've got the four cups on the bottom and all these angels, as ascension. I mean, look at that card, right? It's not typically a card of ascension in the tarot, but this version of it is ascension and being divinely guided and all these little whispers, whispers from your guides. And then that brings you to this breakthrough. The, the most twin flames, and I would say if, you're, if you wanna know the authentic twin flame signs and signals, this is it. Usually you have all this wacky stuff happen, all this magic, all this manifesting, all this bizarre stuff that happens. And then after that, you get this twin flame phrase. That's when you're awakened to the journey and what the whole purpose is. Most people don't find the label and then try to make it fit. That's how you know it's a uh, soulmate or a karmic or just a regular person. If you have the label and you're searching for your twin flame, that's not the way it goes. Uh, I can speak from, from personal experience. So then that's the Ace of Swords is this new epiphany and then going down the rabbit hole of learning all the stuff, trying to figure out, whoa, other people have the same experience as me? Oh my gosh, what does that mean? How do I navigate this twin flame journey? What is a divine feminine? What is a divine masculine? 
you go down the rabbit hole of Quora and Reddit and you learn all the things and all the YouTubers all about twin flames and divine connections, soul connections, learn all about that. But most importantly, what you really need to be focusing on is your own baggage, your own garbage, clearing out karma from past lives, cleaning out karma from this life, all your childhood trauma, all that stuff gets cleaned up and cleaned out. That's what the Ace of Swords, that's what the epiphany does. It shows you what the purpose was of all this magic, what the purpose was of all that weirdo metaphysical soul connection that you felt, but that you felt victimized by. This is the card, the Ace of Swords gives you that clarity and the direction and the path to unite your masculine and feminine within. And then what happens with that is then you unite your masculine and feminine within you. You're all tapped into your guardian team, your guide team, your soul, your higher self, whatever you want to call it, the divine, uh, the universe, whatever word you want to use, and it brings you the lovers. And only after going through getting over victim mentality, learning the whole point, clearing out your karma, learning how to become a divine person inside, balance between masculine and feminine within and learning the bigger picture of the journey and getting over victim mentality and oh what are they doing over there with their karmic or whatever garbage you've got to go through all that on your own honestly before you can get to this lover's card so this is a perfect example in my mind of the twin flame journey how to navigate it what the whole freaking fracking purpose is and most importantly what i love is that anybody watching this has probably already done this work you're already united within and you found the love of yourself, you found the love of, via the love of the other, but you have to find the love of yourself first, and that's becoming this Queen of Wands, stepping up, knowing who you are, valuing who you are, not apologizing for who you are, but letting yourself shine brightly on stage in whatever way that is, and then coming up with a plan for how that's gonna work, how to make it manifest in your life, what's next, seeing the bigger picture, putting those together, and that's where you're gonna get that breakthrough in your life and your relationships and your job and everything. So hope this helps and I'd love to hear what you think down below in the comments and please, you know, just that all helps the channel. Thank you. All right, you got this, bye.